Hi there, we are continuing to look at our fruits of the Spirit and we are moving on to love, joy, peace. Peace. And peace, when we read about it in the Bible, is not that vibe of like, hey man, peace. When we tend to think about peace, I think a lot of the time we think about an absence of something, an absence of war. Peace is an absence of violence. Peace might be an absence of loud noise. Just, I just want it to be peaceful. There's an absence of of something which gives us this idea of peace. Now in the Bible, the Hebrew word for peace was shalom. It was a greeting, a peace be with you, shalom. But it meant a whole lot more than that. So it was the idea of rather the presence of something. It was this holistic idea of may everything kind of in your life come together as one. So may you be joyous, may your family be good, May your work situation be good. May your present circumstances be filled with the peace, with the shalom of God. And so I want us to, when we think about peace, there's that idea that it's absence of. But let's also think about it creatively. What about the presence of? What, what are the things we would like to see for there to be peace? The presence of freedom. Can we say that there's peace when people are in slavery? the presence of community can we say there's peace when people are being affected by racism the presence of equality of valuing people for who they are can we say there's peace when we continue to live in a world that is sexist a lot of the time and tends to be against women or a world that holds men up above women and so as we are called to show the fruit of peace let us not just think about what are the things we want to stop happening, where do we want to step into where injustice is present, but, but what are the things that we want to see present? When the peace of God is upon us, when the shalom of God is there, what are the things that our presence is, is going to bring, is going to add to a situation? Are we, are we tackling injustice? Are we tackling the noise that tells people they are less than, that tells people they can't do it, that tells people they should give up? that tells people they are not enough. And so as we think about peace this way, hopefully we see it as a much bigger topic. And as, as we produce the fruit of peace in our lives, hopefully it affects us and our community and our neighborhood and our country and our world. May the peace, may the shalom of God be with you.